can you see compared to the beginning the spots on my neck are not as visible they're almost you know completely gone actually Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time seeing me, hi! My name is Belema Ogulu and you are absolutely welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, mm, mm, welcome back! So in today's video, I'm just going to show you real quick how to color correct. If you are like me and you used to pick your acne, then you're going to have a lot of, not a lot, but you're going to have dark spots and you're going to need to color correct those or you're going to need to at least fade them before you do your foundation, right? So first things first, what you're going to need for this video, a color corrector and a concealer shade that is darker than my original concealer shade. So the color corrector I'm going to be using is called Tokyo and it's from Zikio Cosmetics and the darker concealer shade I'm going to be using, oh, the shade isn't there, I'll try to find it out and put it in the description box, but it's also from Zikio Cosmetics. I find that they have really good concealers. I already prepped my skin. You can check out my how to prep your skin video. So you're going to need two concealers and you're also going to need a dense brush, right? And I'll show you how to use it and why you need it in a few minutes. Anyway, let's just get into the video. So the first thing you want to do is identify your dark spots, right? So I don't know if you guys can see. Of course you can see. But, but I have dark spots like from the bottom half of my face to the base of my neck don't worry i'm going to get my laser surgery and all of that so it's will be gone but for now where all i have is makeup i'm going to just show you guys how i conceal all of this so it doesn't show under my foundation at all of course after prepping my face first thing i do is just put the red color corrector over my dark spots Okay, so I have one spot here that I don't like how it's looking. So I'm going to conceal. Okay, now it went from one spot to like how many spots. But anyway, yes, yeah, so now that it's on, just let it dry a little bit. So let it get too much. Just let it dry a bit. And then go in with your dense brush and just want to dab that into your skin. Don't worry if you're looking too crazy. <laughs> like, don't worry, you're supposed to look red-ish right so just tap that in already you can see that the dark spots on this side are already fading away so you just want to go on and kind of blend all of that red concealer into your skin Okay, no, this is not the end, but for now, you're going to have to wait for this to dry into your skin. Don't worry, it'll take about one minute or less, depending on the products that you use. The reason why we're going to wait for this to dry into our skin is because you don't want it to mix with your dark colored concealer and then your whole face becomes red. The next step is to take a concealer shade that is about two shades darker than your original shade and then just go over the spots again. I can't even see the ones that were on my forehead, but I know that they were there, so I'm just going to go over that. Okay, so I cannot see majority of my spots anymore, but I can. I remember where I put, I put concealer on, so let's just get in there. Now, next thing, you're going to take the same dense brush that you used over your red concealer to blend this into your skin, right? So... Alright you guys, so after blending, this is what we look like. I haven't put on my foundation yet. When I do, everything is going to like even out, but this is what we're looking like. Can you see, compared to the beginning, the spots on my neck are not as visible. They're almost, you know, completely gone actually. So, my face as well, the spots are barely there on my neck barely there i know that a lot of people deal with spots and don't know how to you know hide it under your foundation but i hope this helps yeah if you have any hacks that you like for me to try or you have any video that you like to see me do then just let me know and i would 
have a video coming up for you if you found this video useful make sure to drop a like leave me a comment in the comment section subscribe to my channel i'll bring you more tips you know thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you so much i'll see you in my next video bye